Hey, this is James with Lot Hill. I'm going to go over transferring the database for time drop from one computer to another. The process is very straightforward. You're going to sign into the time drop software on the first computer or the old computer. And just so just go into time drop manager. And then you're going to go to manage system options. And on the Manage System Options screen, there is a Data Source tab. Then click Backup Database. That's going to uh, see if it'll do it here. Um, just save it to a USB drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, whatever you got. Just save it to that location. And then you're going to close down Time Drop. Go to the desktop of your specific computer and find the the backup. Um, if it's on a USB drive, that's great. Uh, take that to the new computer. And then now we're going to basically pretend we're on the new computer. Go ahead and open up Time Drop on the new computer. You're going to install the demo uh, from lothill.com. And you can get that, like I say, if you go to our main website, lothill.com. Click on Downloads at the top. You can scroll down and find the latest version of Time Drop right here in the middle under Products. And then once you've installed that, you can open up the Time Drop Manager on the new computer, sign in using the default username of Manager, and the password is Password. Then you'll go to Manage System Options, Data Source, Restore Database, select your database that you want to restore and click open. Once you do that, the program is going to make the back or going to restore the backup. It's going to ask you to restart the program. And then uh, when you, it may, the, the only thing that I can think you may run into an issue with is when you start up, you might get a message that says maximum number of stations exceeded. If you see that, what you can do is close the program, just exit out. When you go to run the program again, I want you to hold down the shift key and keep holding it down. And when you load the program, you're going to see this message. Are you sure you want to re reset the list of computers registered with the time clock system? Say yes. You can let go of the shift key at that point. And then the program will start up and you should be able to log in using your credentials from the old system. So if you have any questions on how to do that at this point you should be good to go uh, but if you have any questions like i say give us a call at 855 lot hill or shoot us an email at product.support at lothill.com